Yeah, people get the idea that when you say that, you're just being hyperbolic about that the left is chaos and that the right is order. But I mean, <laughs> it's it's hard not to look at, especially from a cultural perspective. When you look at the culture of the left and places where th there is a cultural left, if there is not a army present, New York City, which is basically what New York City had to do to clean up. They, yeah. they have 35,000 cops. How many people know that the NYPD is bigger than like what more than half the militaries of, of certain countries in, in the world? I, that's how they kept order. Well, they also made it so expensive that people had no one could, you know, it's like I think I read a number, it was like one in 20 people in New York City is a millionaire. It's like you have to be you have to have a large percentage of people who are wealthy in order to keep it going. But then you look at places like Chicago, you look at places like LA and I mean, the worst, I mean, San Francisco, they have an app so that you can find out where people are shitting in the streets. Mm -hmm. And then you say, so you go to a small town, like um, take one of the small towns up here in, in the mountains in Georgia. And you don't have that. Everybody's walking around orderly. Everybody's walking around saying hi to each other. And it's more of a right wing environment. I just don't know how people don't get this that, you know, and I hate the whole, I mean, I've done episodes on the whole right left thing. I can't, can't stand it. But if you haven't been paying attention for the last year and especially like the last six years, I mean, it's just obvious. It's, it's smacking you in the face. And if you are going to reject it, because you're seen as you're scared about seeing being seen as racist or something like that. I mean, well, I mean, that's just you're <laughs> get on the boxcar already, man.